Boy, I've I've got a lot to learn. Number one, is this a 7.5 or an 8.8? Number two, is this a 7.5 or an 8.8? Number three, is this a 7.5 or an 8.8? Number four, is this a 7.5 or an 8.8? Number five, is this a 7.5 or an 8.8? Number six, is this a 7.5 or an 8.8? Number seven, I think. Is this a 7.5 or an 8.8? Oh, wait. This one has a tag on it. And in the middle, it does say 8.8. Eight. But if I wonder if that is referring to the size of the rear or something else, I should have learned how to interpret these tags. But then not all of these rear ends have tags on them. I have a lot to learn. Number eight. Is this a 7.5 or an 8.8? Eight, eight? I'm getting the feeling that 8.8s are taller. Number nine, is this a 7.5 or an 8.8? This is a Mercury Mountaineer, so the rear end's too long, but I think I'm learning. This is an 8.8. It's taller than the 7.5. and it also has disc brakes on the rear, or it did. But this is too long for our Falcon. From side to side, it's too long. And I asked at the desk down there, and uh, these are about $150. Ballpark figure. Okay, I'm starting to figure this out. This is a 90s Explorer, and that's an 8.8 rear. But too long. How much does it cost to get one of these things shortened? And who does that? I think Bruce told me in one of the videos, or maybe in one of the outtakes, but I wonder what the cost is. Okay, starting to get the hang of this. That's an 8.8. It's taller. But again, Ford Explorer, early 90s. Kind of right, but still too long, hub to hub. That's a 7.5. That's an 8.8. 7.5 rear end cover, yoink. And I'll put them next to each other. Seven point five wider and but sort of chopped off at the top and the bottom. Eight point eight taller. The edges of the seven point five are rounded. The edges of the eight point eight are flat. Huh. Man, until you see them side by side, they do look the same. Seven point five, eight point eight. So we need one that looks like this with axles and splines that are shorter. I'm coming out of the junkyard empty-handed, but I have knowledge. 7588. I need this, but tiny. Put you back, don't need you. So somewhere there exists a... Oh. What did this guy do, pull the pin out here? What was, I don't know what somebody was trying to do here. Anyway. There. So somewhere there exists a first gen Ranger with a 56 and a half rear axle, but an 8.8 and not a 7.5. You're out there somewhere, and if not this yard, then some other yard. Or we price it out and find out what it costs to take a rear end out of an early Explorer and shorten it. Or a Mustang. You know what? I didn't even look at the Fox bodies. Fox body, what do you got? It has rounded edges, so this is a 7.5. Here's underneath an SN95. I see rounded edges, that means that's a 7.5. Here's another Fox body, rounded edges, 7.5. Oh, you got a 5.0. You got to have an 8.8. Under here. Uh, flat edges on the side. They're more vertical. I was right. 8.8. This is a T Bird with a 3.8 V6. So. Ah. Oh, did this have independent rear suspension? It did. Look at that. Okay. I can't help. Oh, I see that. Ooh, that looks. Something like a 
like I've never seen before. I don't know what that is. Can't use it, but oh well. You, early explorer, what do you got? V6. Which means I'm thinking 7 point, uh, 7 point 5, but the explorers were a little beefier, so... <laughs> the flat sides yeah that's a 8.8 .8. okay v6 early explorers had 8.8s this looks shorter i wonder how wide this is i mean i can't measure it from here need to do more research this first gen ranger would have a rear axle that was i think 56 and a half but when you look at the rear end back there see the uh Nine o'clock and three o'clock positions. Yep, it's rounded. 7.5. Boo. The second gen Rangers had rear ends that were 8.8 .8 if they had the V6, which this does. If I go around underneath and I look at the, can't see with my sunglasses. And I go back underneath, yep, I look at the size, sides of the rear differential cover, and they are flat at the three o'clock and nine o'clock position. So that is an 8.8, and it's almost the right size, but I think these are 58 inches. The second gen Ranger, this is a second gen Ranger, and that's a first gen Ranger. The rear ends, the rear a the rear axles are narrower on these, and these are wider. So that's pretty close to what a uh, first gen Falcon is, but it has the weaker rear end that uh, it would be dangerous for us to use with our. Uh, 302 HO motor.